Gloomy sun rises in the morning, making all birds fly in search of their food, and flowers start to bloom back by the sunlight with the beauty of nature. In this big world somewhere, a new wed couple was still sleeping in their soft slumber. As the sunlight passed the white curtains, the female moved in her position, rubbing her eyes. She slowly started to realize it's morning already. At a sudden movement, she felt a heavy weight on her lower body. She peeked under the blanket to witness. A manly tattooed arm holding her waist securely, she bite her lip as her cheeks turned red crimson by the rush of blood and harmonies. She slowly diverted her gaze to her right side to witness one of the most beautiful sights in her life. The most precious person in her life was sleeping beside her. His calm and beautiful features were making her feel blessed. A beautiful smile crept on her lips as she moved her hand to his cheeks. His face was dug in the pillow just beside her bare shoulder. She caressed his puppy cheeks with her fingers, then her eyes traveled to his plump lips that were a little open making a little pout. The small mole under his lip was visible. You wanted to peck it. What if you disturb his sleep? But you just wanted to stare at him like this in silence. Suddenly he started to move because of sunlight hitting his eyes. He moved his arm from your vest, opening his eyes, but you close your eyes, pretending to be asleep. Stretching his legs, he tilted his head and saw your eyes closed. Turning his whole body, placed his lips over your forehead, you heard his sleep and husky voice. I want to wake up each morning in your arms like this, comforted by your oddness, used by your knowledge of ways. I want to care for you more and more and secure you in my arms forever until the last second of my breath. I want to feel your warmness. His words were so magical for your ears and soul. You opened your eyes while meeting his. His eyes are showing love and care for you. His lips cornered, moved up. His beautiful bunny smile appeared as a blessing on your already blessed day. Did you sleep well last night? He asked with his hand moved up to your face, removing your baby hairs from your forehead. His fingers stopped on your cheeks. You smiled shyly. I did. You said in a slow, calm voice, making him chuckle at your shy behavior. Then how was the last night? Now his lips, one coronal lifted up. With a little smirk, you almost hide your face in his chest. While your arm was on his vest, but you wanted to express how you felt last night. But he made you feel for the first hour in your lifetime, so you backed off meeting his big sparkly eyes. Last night, I looked at you and could feel the love that was filled by you in my entire body. The kind that made my toe curls and the kind of love that circulated through my veins. I could feel myself blush from having all types of emotions running rampant against my skin. The kind of love that made me want to scream all of my worries and fears out so they have no way of finding the way back in. The kind that took all my breath away just by mentioning your love being spoken in your tone. A soft voice that whispered kindness and sweet promises. Last night, I looked at you and thought, oh, so this is how love is supposed to feel. His eyes were full of tears. You know he's so sensitive when it comes to his close loved ones. You trailed your hand up to his face. As the first drop of tear fell down, you quickly wiped it. Smiling, you packed his lips. I love you and it's not the kind of love that wavers. It's the scary kind that never fade away. I looked at you and I see not just everything I want from life, but everything that I am. You took the emptiest and darkest Hits of my soul and fill them with you. You are as much a part of me as my own heart and it doesn't beat without you. You hugged him tightly, not saying anything more. You already said so much and you know it wasn't enough to express your emotion fully but still you feel happy by expressing yourself. After a few minutes, you are now standing in the kitchen looking at the things as you both shifted here yesterday so you don't know which thing is where mostly. You were tapping your foot on the floor until you felt his arm wrapping around your vest. You can smell the fresh fragrance from his as he just took shower. He was only wearing his grey trouser until his lower vest. Is my dear wife having difficulty finding something? Is my dear wife having difficulty finding something? He asked still back hugging you, pouted and bobbed your head up and down. I want to cook some dishes but I can't find the ingredients, you said placing your finger under your chin, thinking, making your lips in the thin line, but mom said they did buy everything that was needed, those must be in the upper drawer. Of 
Then let me check. You move the side and stretch your arm up to open the drawer, but after opening it you weren't able to see things in it because of your height. Chung chuckled and moved behind you. His hands gripped your vest and he picked you a little up. You giggled and looked at the drawer. Oh, these are here. You got the packets out and Chung put you down. Happy? He popped your hair and pecked his cheek. Yes, thanks. Let's cook now. You both started to cook together with having fun. He was cutting the vegetables and you were mixing ingredients. Few minutes passed away. Now Jungkook was standing beside you watching the dishes to be cooked. He was also back hugging you with his chin on your shoulder. You are humming a random song. Jungkook check it. Is it fully cooked? He poured the soup in spoon and asked him to taste it. He drank it but some drops of soup fell on your fingers. He held the spoon from your hand and placed it on the shelf. Holding your fingers, he took it in his mouth, sucking it. Your eyes widen and cheeks turn red. His eyes were looking in yours. Your heartbeat became so fast suddenly, chest going up and down as his tongue swirled around your fingers. Your tummy twitched with the feeling of butterflies inside it. Mm, so tasty. The way he and said it made you feel weird and you know he did it intentionally. But we should eat. He said stuttering. He smirked knowing how much his actions affected you. Okay, let's eat. You both sat together and ate while watching movies. Chung was laying on your lap on couch while you were sitting and both were watching the movie going on. Your one hand was inside his hair, combing them with your fingers, but from a while you were feeling tired. Your shoulders were paining and legs too. You were also tired of last week because of wedding preparation and all. Yesterday you thought it will take a week to be normal from this pain but now. It wasn't letting you sit properly. While your one hand was in his hair, other hand went to your shoulder massaging it. Your movement with Jungkook looked at your actions. He noted you were massaging your shoulder and moving your legs too. He thought your sitting position was disturbing you and his weight so he'll sit up. You looked at him confused. What happened? You were moving too much. I thought our position was giving you pain. You shook your head. No, it's not like that. It's just some weakness after wedding preparation and all. Nothing much. And you're telling me now? Is it paining too much? He asked with his big, very full eyes. You smiled. No, I'll massage it a little and then I'll be alright. He looked at your hands and thought about something. I can give you a body massage. No, no, there is no need for it. No, just yesterday we took vows of taking care of each other and next day we are not working on it. This is wrong. You sighed at his stubborn behavior. Okay, do it. He clapped his hands happily. Okay, let's go to our bedroom. You giggled at his excitement self and went to the bathroom. Jung went to bring some oil as he said that will help the body heat up and get eased in massage by decreasing the pain. While waiting for him, you got your clothes off and only wearing your inner wear, you wrapped your body in a small towel that was until your thighs length. Making a bun of your hairs. In your whole life, you haven't taken a full body massage, so you were a little nervous too. And Jungkook has said he has only massaged his hunks, shoulder and legs, not more. So it will be his first time too and he wants to experience it. Hearing the room door click on, you witness your husband entering the room with a bottle of oil and a piece of cloth on your back. He looked at you he frost on his face because you are only wearing a towel of half body. Looking soft in his eyes, he called regretting his own decision to keep your massage. Jungkook, what happened? He asked with a chuckle as he was continuously staring at you and nothing. You should lay on your tummy. I'll place it there. He said and you did it. Laying on his tummy on the bed, you looked at him and he was getting his shirt off. Why are you removing your shirt? He called feeling hot. It was so hot outside, that's why. He shrugged and looked at the front placing your head on your folded arms on the pillow. He felt him walking to the bed and standing beside you. Are you comfortable? Asked while placing the oil bottle on the nightstand. Yes, I am. Saying this, he moved to place your towel a little down from your back that reached your lower back. Now your full back was on display. You are wearing only. I will start now, like I do with Young's shoulder without oil first. You nodded and felt his many warm hands on your shoulders. His hands cup your shoulder, massaging them. You felt so relaxed that you slowly closed your eyes.
He pressed his hands, moving them on his shoulders, giving pressure to relax them. Slowly, his hands became close to your neck, and his thumb started to slide down by your neck, using long, gentle motions along the surface of the muscles instead of intense pressure of a style like the deep tissue massage. Finding tension knots, he applied focused pressure moving along the width of the neck as well. Glide along the muscle along either side of the spinal column on the back of the neck. He widened his hand to loosen the muscle on the sides of the neck as well. He felt so, so relaxing that you will get addicted by this massage. Never once anyone gave you this good shoulder massage. Your sleepy eyelids were closed. His hands moved away from your skin. You heard a popping sound of a bottle that means he poured oil on his hands. He rubbed his hand and glided them back to your shoulders, massaging the shoulder blades. Damsel with a light touch, he glided the pads of his thumbs over the flat part of your shoulder blades in wide sweeping circles, making sure to apply minimal pressure as the scapula are surrounded by sensitive connective tissues going over every part of the blade before moving on. Oil was making it more helpful and easy to slide the knots by heating the skin. You were now not feeling more pain in shoulders and side of necks. His hands are so magical. He again poured oil on his hands, now going down from your shoulder to upper back. Lighting your straps, you must side the straight place and open the hook off. You didn't move, but now your whole back was bare. He poured the oil on your back with drops. He started massaging the back at the lower back, moving his hands upward on both sides of the spine all the way to the shoulders making a circle motion as he moved his hands upward, pressing a bit more firmly with his thumbs as making the circles moving across the shoulder and started moving down the upper arms. He was using less pressure due to sensitive places. Is pressure good? It's not hard, right? He asked, assuring, and heard your faint voice saying yes. He smiled as you were feeling good because of him. Now he moved the towel away from your bone too. He moved a little up so he took the full towel out and placed it somewhere. He picked the oil bottle and moved to sit on the bed. He sat on his knees and stretched your legs apart to have space between. He moved your left leg upward from knees to make a comfortable position because of sensitive tissues. Starting at the foot and stroking upward helps promote blood circulation which can help ease pain and tension in the legs. Using long gentle strokes along the outside of the thighs and calves, moving upward from the foot towards thighs and calves, toward those areas, using a loose fist to make long gentle strokes, setting the thighs, working his way up the thigh area, making scooping passes with his hands on outside and inside of the leg to stimulate the different muscles in the upper leg, applying the same pressure as he Use his palm to press near the center of your upper thigh and gluteal area. Jungkook's hands were slowly now stroking your inner thighs and without his other intention, it was some time touching your core that made you flinch. He stopped and asked, are you okay? Is pressure too much? You girl feeling weird between your thighs because of rubbing. Yeah, be a little gentle. He nodded and again started to massage the inner thighs. He made your strapped into inner side to glide his fingers more easily. Now his hands were massaging your bones as he was pouring oil and doing his work. You suddenly his name. You quickly close your mouth. Now you notice that you are getting aroused because of this. He smirked, decided to play with you, not thinking of outcomes as the massage was almost complete. He now poured oil on his hands, making it sloppy. Placing his hand again in your most inner thighs, his finger just an inch away from your you start to feel more hot and close your eyes tightly because of his arousing touch. Your muscles started to contract. Sweating body fell beside your breathing heavily. Th that was going to be a normal massage. He said and started laughing. You laughed with him still trying to breathe normally. No doubt the massage was so good. Your hands are so magical. He again over you with a grin on his face. His hairs are messy and sweaty, but he was looking super only massage. He asked making a thin line of his lips. You pretending to think. 
Um, yeah, just normal. His eyes fit in, but it turned into smart. Then this time it will be more than normal. Now your eyes fit in and you shock your head. No, no, it was perfect and I'm feeling sticky too. Oh, that's because of the oil. Then let's do something else. What else? Then let's take a bath together.